it is Valentine's Day, Wednesday, February 14th. Um, I'm just starting a new vlog because I'm gonna do a little, I was gonna say a week in my life, but I did work yesterday, so I guess this is not like a full week. It's gonna be just like a few days in my life. I feel like I haven't done one of those in a little while. Um, so I thought it would be fun. I hope you guys enjoyed last week's vlog, which was our vacation vlog. Um, we got back on Monday. I went to work yesterday. You guys, I don't even think I could have vlogged yesterday if I wanted to. I didn't get home till like 7.30 and then I was jumping on like a little Zoom call with one of my friends who wrote a book. She's doing like a virtual bookstore book tour and um, I had to do like a little Zoom interview essentially which was super fun for like a Galentine's and um, that brings us to today but yeah yesterday was terrible so hopefully today is a bit better I still have a bunch to catch up on um, my last patient of the day today is at five which is super nice just because of Valentine's Day but Seth does my camera died right as I was talking to you guys this morning but this is the fit for today. These scrubs are from Fabletics. I really, really like them and I think they're super flattering. But as I was saying, um, Seth has a basketball game tonight. His basketball team is, they made it through districts. This week they're in regionals and if they make it through regionals then they're gonna go to states. So we will not be having like a, a fancy Valentine's dinner or anything. I'll probably just make dinner at home and I'll probably eat it before he comes home, honestly, because he won't be home until 9.30. So maybe we'll do something this weekend, I don't know, but that's just like the life of an athletic director's wife. Um, they are, I feel like I've gotten comments before, especially on TikTok being like, where's your husband? And my husband <laughs> works a lot, just like I do. So anyway, I am running late for work. I just packed up my lunch in this hideous red lunch box. I've got to get myself a new lunch box, but I just packed some leftover hot honey pasta, um, some fruit for breakfast, an apple for a snack, and a protein bar if I want it. Okay, I kind of forgot I was vlogging today, um, but it is six o'clock, a little after six o'clock, and I got off of work early today because of Valentine's Day. Um, work was very good, everything went smoothly. I had an MA this morning, but I did not have an MA this evening, but I had three nurse practitioner students who were all super helpful so they would help me like room patients take vitals and also my front desk can room patients and take vitals as well but anyway um i stopped by um petco is that petco yeah to pick up my dog some valentine's day um things i got um hoosier a baby we call like these babies stuffed animals because he loves to just suck on them and then camper is like obsessed with these toys so i just got him one of these a little update on camper i'm not sure if i mentioned it on youtube or on tiktok i don't know where i've mentioned it but we recently got him started on prozac for anxiety and he actually got diagnosed with ocd uh, which is just crazy that like a dog can be diagnosed with ocd but he has been on prozac for almost two weeks now you guys it, it has been so helpful and he's not even at like max serum level yet he is just able to like regulate his emotions so much more. He used to be like hyper obsessed with a ball, um, like could not calm down until like 10.30 at night when he'd been on multiple walks and played in the backyard and just like he couldn't calm down and he had so much anxiety. He like nipped at our vet. He was just like a uh, poor guy, but this has made such a huge difference. I'm so happy with it so far. Um, so it's been absolutely incredible. Um, so just a little update on that. Now I'm going to run to Publix because I want to get Seth just a little something. We don't really do much for Valentine's Day, but I'm going to get him some Doc Pop Poppies. I wish I was freaking sponsored by Poppy at this point for how much promo I give them on my TikTok. <laughs> um, but I'm going to get him some of those and then I'm going to get some sweet Lorraine cookies just to make, um, tonight. I probably, I think I'm going to make them into like a little heart, <laughs> um, and do that. So yeah, it's so nice. Like being off a little bit earlier than usual don't get me wrong like working four tens is really amazing but it's like you get back into that i go home i eat i shower i go to bed and like i do it again the next day and given i only do it four days a week so i really i'm not complaining it's just like pros and cons you know 
Um, so it's nice to be off like this early and have time to do other things and still have time to go home and make a healthy dinner and relax. I'm on my phone so much um, just because I'm constantly like doing work for social media and answering emails when I'm not like at my day job. So yeah, sometimes I kind of miss like a normal um, eight to five, but like not enough to go back to it, if you know what I mean. I gave the dogs their little Valentine's Day gift. I literally had them in my hand because Petco doesn't give bags anymore and Camper and Hoosier stole them both out of my hands. But I got a package, not sure who it's from. Hey. So we're gonna open it together. It's YSL's mascara that just somehow came out of here. That's funny. Ooh, okay. It's a waterproof black mascara. I will have to try it. I don't wear mascara very often, maybe like once a week, once every few weeks, but I shall give it a try. Thank you, YSL. Um, let's unpack... Let's unpack these groceries. Tonight for dinner, I'm gonna make, I think like a curry, maybe like a chickpea and tofu curry. I'm not 100% sure. I think I'm gonna wing it a little bit, but um, I'll bring you guys along for that. I also picked up a new creamer from Publix, Oatly Caramel Creamer. I don't know. I like the packaging, so we'll go from there. And then I got some chocolate chip cookies and a ton of coffees. <laughs> I'm gonna like make them in a heart shape. Oh my God, I meant to get a card. I did not get a card. Final product. I think I called it a curry earlier, but it's actually tiki masala and I will link the recipe that I used non bread. Okay, I am showered and we are grabbing a poppy. Seth is still not home. <laughs> it's not that late though. It's it's 8:30. And we've got some cookies in the oven that look very good. And we've got his food sitting out. <laughs> Final product. These look so good. These are like vegan. These are vegan cookies that you can get from like Publix, Target, and they are 10 out of 10. Good morning, you guys. It's Thursday. Hi, babes. I am just sitting down to do my morning devotional. I always do the five minute journal, or I guess this one is called the gratitude journal, but it is a rendition of the five minute journal. This is the third one of these I've gone through. It's just like something I do every day. And then I'm reading this devotional. This is my second year going through this, but um, it's really good and just nice and simple. And I like to start my morning like this. And of course, accompanied by this. <laughs> and they sit here. Good morning, you guys. Um, it's Friday morning. If I'm being completely honest right Problem. now, yeah. sorry, and I, I have the toast playing on the radio. I am just in an absolutely terrible mood. I came home last night. In a terrible mood and I had a good day yesterday at work like everything was perfect um, honestly yeah like yesterday was a perfect day I just am getting frustrated with um, I guess like Seth's work schedule and the fact that I have not had any help at home for the last I don't know like not any help at home, I can't really say that, but I have had minimum help at home since basketball season started in November. And it's February now, and um, it's not Seth's fault. I was not mad at Seth <laughs> by any means or anything like that. It just like gets hard to do everything at home, to cook the meals, to clean up, to take care of the dogs. Um, every night by myself because Seth isn't getting home until like 9 30. There are exceptions to that rule and like a few days out of this entire four month long season he has come home at like six o'clock 
Um, and that's been when he's had like all away games or something like that, which I'm so grateful when that happens. I'm just so grateful that basketball season is almost over because as an athletic director's wife, basketball season is the most strenuous season. Um, just for him, he's gone all the time and I am just like, I'm just like, <laughs> I need help. <laughs> Like the dog, our dogs are crazy and they're absolutely obsessed with me. And um, I feel like I can never get a break at home unless he's at home because the dogs are up my literal butt. Um, but anyway, I'm working this Friday. You guys know how I feel about working Fridays at my office. I absolutely hate it. So I feel like that was contributing to my bad mood yesterday evening and also this morning I like peaked at my schedule we have one in May for two providers today so it's just going to be oh and one front desk for two providers so today is going to be a hard day like I already know that it's just like it is what it is so I picked up myself a little coffee I got a grande golden foam shaken espresso with a blonde espresso two shots of blonde espresso one shot of toffee nut syrup um sorry i'm out of light the traffic is terrible this morning anyway so we're gonna give it a try mm. wow mm. that's really good and then I also just got an impossible sandwich. I just get it without the egg and the cheese. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I am eating today. It's reminiscent of when I used to work every Friday. I would always pick myself up like a drink and a snack on a Friday morning as like a treat for making it through the week. So we will make it through today, you guys. We shall. I'm gonna pull my attitude in check. <laughs> We're gonna make it through today all right you guys plot twist <laughs> i did not bring like my workout clothes with me to the gym because i mean to work because i was there's no way like i never get to work out on a friday it just it doesn't happen like on a friday that i'm working um but my last three patients of the morning no showed like all in a row but um it is 12 29 I was done with my morning at like 11.30. I had some stuff that I had to wrap up just with like patient care and stuff. Um, but I got it all done and I was like, okay, I am guess I'm gonna go home. Our cleaners are gonna are coming here at one. So it's 12.30 right now. I'm just like hanging outside with Hoosier because we put him outside while, while the cleaners are here and um, because campers at daycare. But anyway, he would be a huge distraction to them. He would be like all up in their face, so. I guess I'm just gonna chill at home for the rest of my break. This morning was not bad. We actually do have two MAs. One girl came in to help us, so everything's good there. I'm still just like not in a good mood, you guys. I think it's about to be that time of the month for me. I'm just like so easily annoyed at everything. I'm so easily annoyed. So I need to bring it back down to earth. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do some reading, sit in the sun. Just like enjoy my lunch break at home. I, I never do this, so we're gonna enjoy it today. Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. Using the last Nespresso pod that we have. Seth's friend coming into town and staying with us for the next few days. So he is at the airport picking him up. And I thought I would bring you guys out along at least for today because I know that I didn't get much footage from the last few days, which is something that I just always remember. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, like it's gonna be so fun to do a week in my life like while working. And then when I'm working, it's so diff I can't like obviously bring you guys in with my patients with me or like into work. So it feels like it just ends up being like a lot of updates. Like, oh, I did this, oh, I did this. So, I don't know. You guys tell me like if you don't like them but i feel like you guys do like them and you don't really notice but i could be totally wrong so feel free to correct me um but i just gonna drink a little bit of coffee and then i need to get ready for a yoga class i'm going to a sculpt and flow class at 11. this is the class that i usually take on saturdays that is so hard but We've had this one same teacher for a little while now and I really like how she makes the class 
like it's not like I'm dying. It's not super cardio based. Um, yeah, maybe I'll see if I can get like a few clips for you guys of the class, but I don't wanna like, it's a small room and I feel bad like getting other people in those clips because they're just like in there doing their thing, working out and I'm like filming and inevitably I would get people in. So maybe I won't. Um, but yeah, that is like really all that I have planned for today. It's gonna be a rainy day, unfortunately, in Tampa Bay. So I don't know. Oh, I think that's all I have planned for today. I think we're going to a lightning game this evening and then we'll probably go out for like dinner. So that would be fun. I love going to a lightning game, you guys. It's like my favorite thing to do in Tampa. So I actually think we're gonna bring Seth's friend to a lightning game um, and then go out with him and friends for dinner so it's gonna be a fun day i love a saturday i love 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 a saturday so i just need my coffee first and i need to order more espresso pots i did try. there is a dog here there is a little dog here in my crema you guys aren't gonna be able to see that but i live with constant dog hair everywhere so if that grossed you out i'm sorry it's just like my reality i did try that um, um coffee creamer that i showed you guys the oatly one and it's pretty good it's really sweet so just a little bit but i like it it's like a nice caramel latte mm -hmm. 